Here, I will introduce how to integrate Bootstrap 4 and Font Awesome in Angular 8. As for how to set Bootstrap 4 from the project creation stage, please see the how to set Bootstrap 4 environment in Angular 8, which I have already published. This time, we are going to download such a preset project from GitHub and then proceed with incorporating font awesome into it. For the contents of the project, please see the full source code. First, download the full source code of the project incorporating Bootstrap 4 from GitHub. The URL is https colon slash slash github dot com slash o two slash ad eight bootstrap four initial. When the page is displayed, click the green chrome or download button on the right. Then download address will be displayed. So click the copy icon on the right and copy the address. Open the command prompt, move to a suitable directory, and paste the copied address in that directory for in git chrome. <coughs> then, the download will start. Next, enter the directory of the generated project. Start with your studio code. Type code dot. Once VS Code starts up, press Control back code to open Tiny Window. Untype npm i to install the required libraries for the project. Next, check if the project can be launched. Type NDS-O. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop ups. Okay, next we are going to change the contents of the project. First, change the project name. If you open the package.json file, you can see that the project name is ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. Change this to ng8 bootstrap 4 font awesome. Click the search icon on the left to replace the source of the entire project. Next, there are particle cases that, it, that are separated by capital letters instead of dash. So change ng8 bootstrap 4 initial to ng8 bootstrap 4 fontosa. Next, type npm i to install the library again.
Also check if the project can be launched. Type NGS-O. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop ups. Okay. Next, start the local server with Control C. And install font awesome. In the sign up window, type npm i at font awesome slash font awesome dash free. Note that the string foreign at is font awesome, not font awesome. Then, open the package of the JSON file and make sure it is installed. Also copy the string at font awesome slash font awesome dash free. Next, open the angular.json file and add the font awesome <coughs> that you, ins you installed in the project architect build style section. In particular, add a line of dot, dot slash node module slash at hot or some slash font or some dash free slash CSS slash all dot mean dot CSS. Next, open the NG bootstrap site and Browse the bottom sample program. The URL is https colon slash slash ngbootstrap dot github dot io slash hash slash home. Since the sample of the checkbox button is displayed, we're going to import this button into the Angular 8 project and display an font awesome icon in that button. First, click on the code button on the top right to display its source. First, copy the estimated status. Go back to VS Code and open the app.component.html file in src slash app. Command out, go down, and pull up related parts. Paste the copied HTML here. Return to the browser and open TypeScript file. All you need to add is the model part, so copy it. Go back to VS Code and open app.component.ts file in src slash app. Paste the copied model part here. Next, open app.module.ts file and import forms module.
Now start the rocket start button again and check if the checkbox button is displayed. Type NGS-O. Okay, next, put the front awesome icon in each button. Return to VS Code and open app.component.html file. We are going to delete the pull down and the pull up related parts. First, let's put a Google icon on the left button. The way it is easy, just insert iTag in the text part of the button. Check in browser. Okay. Okay. Go back to VS Code and then insert the Twitter and Facebook icons. Check in browser. Next, the strings such as left and middle are strange, so change to Google and etc. Go back to VS Code open app.component.ts file and change the definition of model. Also open app.component.html file and change the relevant part. Check in browser. Okay. Finally, change the color of the button. Go back to VS Code. Open app.component.html file. Change the bottom cross name and change the color. Check in browser. Okay. Thank you for your watching.